Well, hello and welcome to Physics Games. Today's point of interest is Remnant Downtown Filler number 16. This is a difficulty tier 1 POI and cannot be obtained from the trader for any quests. So here is this lovely little downtown filler and uh well we're gonna we're gonna get a lot of locals i think hey out of here because we are in the downtown area now and uh, we're gonna have to do some slicing and dicing around it there are open parts and doors all over the place we're gonna try and take the proper route that i think is correct because of course you know you can go in this anyway but the front door is here and i expect this is where we're meant to come in if we open up the mailbox we find of course paper and then we continue round here we can see the stairs up we'll be taking in a moment nothing behind there i'm guessing a whole bunch of zombies yeah we'll just slice a bit of him coming up you get i'll get you in the the kneecap anyone else in here Nope, sometimes there is though. And uh, lockers in here with some little uh, sewing kits. Nothing else much. Maybe a cupboard and then a kitchen. Oh, I like that. The fridge embedded in the wall. That looks quite nice. Coffee maker, maybe microwave, a little sink there and plenty of cupboards too. The usual into this area here. And uh, in here we have some shelving units. Um, lots of these on the floor. These things that make the horrible sound when you stand on them. But that's about it. Then we end up coming out of the POI. So I think we then loop in here, I guess. And uh, as we do, we should get, here it is, some scary dude coming out the wall. So they do come out the wall and this is a locked door. So here we are back around to the stairs. So let's nip up and uh, go and see what is next. Those stairs go absolutely nowhere. Not a great deal of loot in this place. You've just got to know where to look really. And that is what he we're here to find out. So we can uh, continue through here into an office room. Nice bit of a bookshelf, but no books for me today. A bit of a cupboard, few chairs to pick up. And that is again about it really. So we come over here and uh, there's nothing nothing at all around in this kind of area. Um, there are some little things here. Can we break any of these out? That's only 50 hit points, but it's still nothing behind it. And uh, I think we've already been over there. So we're going to continue where I think we're going to go, and that is to follow the light of the POI up this little side section. Uh, let me just check. Was there a door here? There was, but this is that is locked. Okay. Up this little side section into this area here. There's some poor soul on the floor there. And uh, another little cupboard over there. Um, but yes, we can head around to that extra little bit. But there is this inviting door with a light saying this is the way you're meant to go. And you are as such. But I tell you, this is the tip that you need to know. Run in and run over to that corner. So here we go. Because that is a fake floor and there is a zombie awaiting you. So you should get your bow and arrow out and give them a clobber. Because if not, then you fall down here. This breaks out with them. You fall down here. You hurt yourself. These fellas appear from a toilet and it all gets very messy very quickly. And I like to control the mayhem. And I also like to put my hands down the toilet to pick out the corn. Bring it on! A little bit of a medicine cabinet there. And then when we're here, we're kind of stuck in this area. And uh, we can we can have a look around. Um, but uh, we're at the bottom of some kind of uh, laddery system. So you can go back up this way, which is all good. And there was also around here a little activate key, which is kind of the way out of the POI when it's all done. Anything behind there? No, I did check. Nothing at all. So we're going to go back up on these. And as you go, make sure you hit these because one of them, I'm sure, there it is, has a chemistry set behind it. Thank you very much. There's another local getting grumpy with me. I'm going to now take this very careful jump over here. And uh, we are going to find ourselves right on top of this POI. So before... Because we kind of got a bit stuck there, I'm going to go back down to this area where we fell through. And I'm going to walk around here just to show you this part. Because if you go this way, then what you're going to do is you're going to find the rest of the stairs and you're going to be able to go up. And I think this is the good and proper way to get up there. So we're going to continue around here, breaking things as we go to this unlocked door. And here is a little, um, we're going to fall down here at some point, I'm sure. That's locked. This is unlocked. And then we have to do a bit of a jump to get ourselves in this position. We want to come here. Here's the light guiding our way. Because 
Oh, oops a daisy, here comes... Oh no, they're not coming for me yet. There we go. <laughs> we have a cracker book up here. So watch out for the birdie. And open up the cracker book. Enjoy the wares. Very nice. SMG schematic. I haven't had that in, in game for a long while, to be fair. And then as we balance around here, we continue to this area. And we find a little door opening tool. And we're back around here again. So where do we go? Well... We've got a choice here, but the main thing is to uh, get up on top. This isn't guided by light as such. This is just where you get the extra little bits, such as this little ammo pile. Thank you very much. And, of course, the birdie was up here. So what we're going to do is find the ladder, get up here, and see what we have down here. We've got a little small food pile, and once you've grabbed that, you're then going to fall onto that mattress and then you're going to get out of here. Several routes to get out, of course. I would either nip down this little ladder here, or I would, because we've opened this up, I would kind of probably just kind of throw myself down all of these little bits here, just to see where we were going. And eventually, we'll get down to find all the locals that want to eat our face. Now, there's nothing necessarily to cheese there, because this is not an official POI that we can actually um, get from the trader. Go away, you horrible spiny thing with extra spines on it. But it is a nice little place, and potentially when you get up high there, let's do that in fact, you can um, set this up as a nice little base, I think, if you were in town. There's not too much to, uh, to, to stop you getting up there, but when you're up here, I don't know, I've just never really tried it before. I don't think any zombies are going to make it up there. They're going to bash the heck out of this, but all of this is good old concrete, I think, and uh, this, will, this will allow you to survive for quite a long time for sure. So, would you like to live in that little base there? I don't know. Tell me in the comments below. There's no cheesing today, but the cheesing will come as we go through the rest of these beautiful POIs. And there are over 400 of them in Seven Days to Die, and we're going through the lot. Check out all the previous videos, because we're well over 100 now. Watch me uh, play with the, all my friends on the live stream, and of course, tips and tricks too. Thank you for watching. Click all of those buttons. Tell everybody about this channel, and I will see you later. Goodbye.